How have you managed to cope with the malicious and vile hate aimed at you? I don't know that I have especially uh, coped with it because it has definitely contributed to mental health issues, including at least one suicide attempt. Um, but I'm still here, so I guess that qualifies as coping. Um, I think the fact that it is so ridiculous and so out of step with who I know that I am um, I think that helps um, it's like if you're walking down the street and some crazy person runs up and accuses you of eating babies right you're not going to take that too seriously and it's not going to knock your ego too much or make you doubt yourself hmm, did I did I eat a baby uh, could anything I've done be interpreted as, as eating babies uh Maybe maybe they're a really militant vegetarian. It, it, that, that that doesn't really happen. Uh, so the accusations that tend to get made towards me, the the harassment and so on, it's more the harassment that is the issue, and the constant lying and the uncharitable nature of it. That's that's the side that gets to me. The actual claims themselves, I know aren't true so I mean you can call me a fascist but I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am and have been for my entire adult life uh, a left anarchist right you can call me a misogynist and I recognize that that is your issue with not understanding that men are also worthy of, of compassion uh, equal treatment and and protection and I can recognize that it's your own prudishness going up against my sex positive outlook and that's where you get that idea from right you can call me anti-trans but I know that I have raised money and contributed to help people transition or to get uh, equipment for disabled trans people that I have worked with trans and non-binary non people and that my recognition of a trans person's rights and identity as a human being is something separate from refusing to acknowledge biological reality right that there are extremists but that is a different thing to recognizing someone as worthy being human, um, having rights, you know, deserving to be treated with, with, with compassion. You can call me racist, but I recognize that that is your unnuanced slavish mentality in that anyone who happens to be a minority can never do anything wrong and that any accusation they make towards anyone of racism must be treated as, as valid, whereas I recognize that people of all races, creeds, colors, and sexualities can be shitty human beings and give nobody a pass, right? So if, you, if you're if you subjected to this kind of thing, I think that the most important thing is that you, you know who you are, right? And you don't let anyone tell you different, right? Be, be certain in who you are, what you believe, how you treat people, where you're coming from. It can be hard to communicate that to people, especially if they really don't want to hear it. But at the end of the day, the only person you have to be able to live with is yourself and your own conscience. And if you know yourself, you'll be fine. And that's kind of where I am with it. It still mystifies me. It still upsets me. The harassment, the constant harassment that has gone on for over a decade is is the part that still gets to me. Because um, it, it just never ends, right? And every day that is something to overcome. And that's difficult.